Well, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and I just wanted to share a word that the Lord had laid on my heart. You see, Christmas is about love. It's about a time when God sent his son into the world so that we could know him, so that we could see his love in action through the life and through the death of his only begotten son, whom he gave for you and me. Jesus demonstrates God's love in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The greatest love, Jesus said, that man can attain to is that one would die for his friends. Jesus said, no greater love hath any man than that he would die for his friends. But I want to tell you tonight that Jesus died for us when we were his enemies. God's love, so much greater than the love we can attain to. God's love, so much fuller and richer. Jesus forever changed who he was. He laid aside his glory and came to earth, humbled himself, and became as a man wrapped in the robe of flesh. And now in heaven interceding for you and me, bearing the scars, the wounds he received in the house of his friends, those scars forever engraved in his hands and his feet and in his brow. Those scars are the only pains that heaven will ever know. The, they have memorialized God's great love for us, and they are memorialized in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he forever changed who he was for you and me. That is great love. That is love without bounds. That is a love that we can't even begin to comprehend. And he loved us that much that he would forever change who he was for you and me so that he could forever change who we are for him. His mighty love allowed into our hearts a repentant heart that says, no more sin, Lord, I want you. I want you to save me. That love changes who we are, transforms our lives, and helps us to live out the purpose that God has for us, his divine purpose ordained at the foundation of the world that we would be called his children and he would be our father. And I'm so thankful for what Jesus did for us this Christmas. I hope you meditate on the love of God that gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Whosoever, whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have eternal life. Have you asked him into your heart? Have you asked him to forgive you of your sin, to come into your heart and to help you live for him? You can do that now with just a simple prayer, any time, any place, when he nudges at your heart, pray that prayer, and he will transform your life. In Jesus' name, I thank you, and Merry, Merry Christmas.